What's up if you Pam and Samuel? If you buy a math minute looking at Hardy Weinberg equilibrium. So the population of grasshoppers where tan is dominant to green. We see that the, there has been um, an increase of rainfall. So 23% are going to be green phenotype. And we want to see what's the frequency of the tan allele. So here we see our Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium equation. Um, and we know the dominant allele is P, so that's going to be our tan allele. And then the recessive allele is going to be our green, so that's our Q. And so if we have two of the dominant alleles, that's our P squared. If we're heterozygous, that's our 2PQ. If we're homozygous recessive, then that's Q squared. And so now we need to make this little chart. And I always do this chart whenever I do these problems. So looking at the question, we see that our first step is that we need to um, figure out, well, what is our Q squared? We only want to start with Q squared with this. So we see that 23 are green, which we know is a homozygous recessive. So we go ahead and fill that in for Q squared. Now that I know Q squared, our next step is to take the square root of that um, to find just Q. And so we'll take the square root of 0.23, which is going to give us 0 0.48. Eight. Um, and then our third step, after we know that P plus Q equals 1, is we're just going to say 1 minus our Q. So 1 minus 0.48 is going to be 0 0.52. And so technically we're done, but we're going to keep finishing in the chart. So step four is going to be that we need to determine what our P squared is. So we know P, so all we have to do is square our P value. So 0.52 squared is going to be 0 0.27. And then to find our 2PQ, our heterozygous, we'll just substitute in our P and our Q into the equation. Um, and so it'll be 2 times 0.52 times 0.48. And that's going to give you 0 0.50. And so now we've filled in our chart, we need to go back to the question and confirm. So we know that tan is going to be dominant to green. And so since I'm looking for the frequency of the tan allele, that's going to be our P value. And so if I look at my chart, I see the P value is 0 0.52. And so the, the final answer for the question is that the frequency of the tan allele is 0 0.52 or 52%. Um, and I'm going to scroll up just so that you can kind of see it again in case you need to look at anything. Um, remember, if I just Says bye, y'all.